Hello, welcome to today's video. Today we are on page 56 of the classical guitar book. Today is etude number 11, the old Douglas fir. It says here to play the melody with, where the stems are up on its own a few times before including the bass notes. So let's go ahead and try that now. Just playing the melody, okay? For this one, you can rest your thumb, here we go, following the fingerings. One, two, three. Okay, make sure that you have a good understanding of the fingerings. And if you need to write those in, please do so. It says here, notice how two notes from separate voices are played at the same time. That's in measure number eight, right here. And then number 16, which is right here at the end. Okay, so be prepared for that. Now it says here, play all the lower voices, stems down with the thumb, of course, I am, would be the higher voices. Let's go ahead and listen to what this one sounds like. After having practiced each section slowly and carefully many times, let's put them together. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. So one of the hard parts of playing multiple voices like this is muting. So we don't want to do the whole palm over the strings because that will mute all the strings. So we either have to kind of do individual notes here with the right hand or with the left in order to not mix the harmonies. At the beginning, it's perfectly fine to allow these first two measures to mix because the notes are pretty similar. They belong to the same chord. But notice there, when I played the F, I used my thumb to mute A, and then moved it up to D. And then when I play E, the thumb goes to string D in order for that to mute. But then moving it down to A, Is how each time I play a new harmony, the thumb will mute the previous harmony note and then play it with the thumb right afterwards. So kind of like two jobs there. Thanks very much, and we will see you at next lesson. Bye-bye.